with every poll and every measure of momentum against him, with his campaign manager tied directly to a principal company in the financial collapse, and that company's bid to retain access to the senator by paying the campaign manager's company now as recently as last month. Senator John McCain today suddenly announced it was necessary for him to stop campaigning for a time so that the nation could instead focus on the economic crisis for which he has tried to blame Senator Obama. And oh, by the way, that means we need to postpone Friday's presidential debate. Our fifth story in the countdown. Till when? December? The Republican candidate wanting an official timeout from his own campaign. The day beginning with a phone call from Senator Obama to Senator McCain. The Democrat asking the Republican about the possibility of issuing a joint statement about the economic crisis. Senator McCain then unilaterally deciding that his best move, maybe it was his only move right now, was instead to pick up his marbles and go home for a while. It's time for both parties to come together to solve this problem. We must meet as Americans, not as Democrats or Republicans, and we must meet until this crisis is resolved. I'm directing my campaign to work with the Obama campaign and the Commission on Presidential Debates to delay Friday night's debate until we have taken action to address this crisis. The commission, by the way, says no dice. The numbers of the day for Senator McCain possibly worse than the Dow. In the new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll out tonight, the Democratic nominee, Senator Obama, with a clear 12-point advantage on the question of who would be better at improving the economy. In the new Washington Post survey, it's a 14-point lead for Obama on who voters trust more to handle the economy. A majority of those surveyed, 57%, believing the Democrat is more in tune with the economic problems of American voters. The picture of the day for Senator McCain, no better. The Republican nominee surrounding himself with Wall Street titans to discuss the economic crisis. Some of the titans he chose, illuminating to say the least. Senator McCain looking for advice from Henry Kravis, the leveraged buyout or takeover king made famous by the book Barbarians at the Gate. Also looking for guidance from private equity trader Stephen Schwartzman, the beneficiary of what the Washington Post says might be the mother of all tax dodges, so-called carried interest. Mr. Schwartzman having received $350 million in cash distributions last year, having paid only 15% in taxes on them, not the 35% that regular rich folks would pony up, pony up because Mr. Schwartzman structured his trading fees as capital gains. Senator Obama, meanwhile, arriving in Florida for three days of debate prep, saying that precisely because of the financial crisis, he believes having a debate Friday night is more important than ever. It is going to be part of the president's job to deal with more than one thing at once. I think there's no reason why we can't be constructive in helping to solve this problem and also tell the American people what we believe and where we stand and where we want to take the country. So in my mind, actually, it's more important than ever uh, that we uh, present ourselves to the American people and try to describe where we want to take uh, the country and where we want to take the economy, uh, as well as dealing with some of the issues of foreign policy that uh, were initially the subject of the debate. And a small postscript to the day's drama that might turn out to be bigger than anybody expects. Senator McCain also canceled his appearance as David Letterman's guest tonight. Letterman said McCain called him personally to express his regrets, but that he had to head back to Washington immediately to deal with the financial crisis. Imagine Letterman's surprise as his show was taping this afternoon and a producer told him McCain was not in Washington nor on a plane, but rather in another CBS studio taping an interview with Katie Couric. Letterman even showed the feed of the Couric McCain interview on the air and shouted at one point, hey, Senator, I've got a question. Can I give you a ride to the airport? McCain flat out lied to Letterman. The senator is actually still in New York, will not return to Washington till morning. I know all this because on top of everything else, when Senator McCain canceled, the guest they got to replace him on late night was me. Oops. Yours truly and not John McCain on late night with David Letterman on CBS this evening. David was, in short, on fire. Check your local listings.